what's good guys so in this video we're going to be going over uh oh some object oriented programming um but specifically using bindable events in our class okay so let's just uh create a script and then i'm going to throw a module script in here and then we'll start creating our class real quick um i'm just gonna create a class real quick that's pretty much it so we're gonna make our dot new function we're gonna pass in a value and then we're gonna have local self and then we're gonna return uh set meta table self class and then now let's uh create self dot value equals value so we'll have that and then what we're gonna do is we're going to um We're going to have uh, a bindable here, okay? So we'll do self dot hit five seconds equals instance dot new, uh, not a remote, but a bindable. And then we'll have another variable called on hit five seconds. And we'll have this be equal to self dot hit five seconds dot event. Okay, and then we're going to create a start function here. Um, and this is all we're going to do. So we'll have start time equals OS dot time. And then we'll have a while true do loop. And we'll have a uh, task dot one for so we're going to wait 10 seconds. And then we'll have um, time passed equals os dot time minus start time and then we'll have um, if time passed it's greater or equal to five then we are going to uh, hit five seconds fire so then we're going to fire that and then if we wanted this to run every five seconds i believe we could do let's just try this we could have our start time equal os dot time okay so now that's going to be a thing okay and um yeah and also we want to put this in a task dot spawn so on surface level this doesn't interrupt our other code um so yeah, I'm trying to, what in the, oh, okay, cool. All right. Um, all right, there we go. Okay, cool. So now, now what we can do also is just to make it more fun is to get uh, the value. So um, get value and then we'll just return self dot value. OK. All right. So let me just go over real quick what we're doing. We're creating our bindable event. We're also making a variable to connect to this bindable event. OK. Now. Um, then in our start function we have like a little timer going and basically we are saying that every five seconds our hit five seconds is going to fire um so yeah and this will make more sense once i get to the surface level code which i'm going to do now so local class equals require script dot module script and then we'll have, um, you know, local instance of the class equals class dot new. Our value is going to be bacon. And then we'll have um, instance dot instance dot on hit five seconds. Uh, on hit five seconds connect function and then here we can get our value so we'll do instance value equals instance 
get value and then we'll have a print message hit five second or wait hit five seconds here's some and then we'll do periods here's some instance value and then another period okay and then now what we're going to do is we're just going to go below and start it so instance uh, start okay so that's it all right so on the surface level we've uh, required our class module we have made a new instance of the class and then we've connected um, our bindable event to this function right here um, so yeah let's see what happens let's see if it runs every five seconds it should but I've never really used os.time for before for like quick little loops like that um, oh it, it hit five seconds so we've we've gotten some bacon and it did it again so that is a cool little loop that you can do cool um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you would use a little, uh, bindable for your classes. I love doing this cause I think it's really cool. Um, and then also if you use like frameworks and libraries, um, this is kind of like how they set up. So like if you're using a framework or whatever, uh, like maybe knit, right? So like knit has, um, dot on start which is an event a bindable that they're using you know uh in their in their code so yeah i think it's just pretty cool but yeah see you guys on the next one peace